Third Day and Engineering Expo Day, it's a, it's, it's a great opportunity to showcase student research, special projects. Uh, a big part of the uh, environment here is, is we want students to be engaged in their learning to be very active. So Bear Day is a day-long celebration all around campus. The classes are canceled for the students. Uh, we have students presenting uh, presentations in a variety of different forms and because we cancel classes it gives uh, students who are not presenting an opportunity to see some of the projects that their classmates are doing and really uh, dive right into the culture of engagement that we're trying to uh, promote here at Mercer. This morning uh, we've got a poster session with students presenting their work in a poster format. At 11 today we have a keynote speaker, Dr. Lisa Pratt uh, from uh, Indiana University. Uh, and then this afternoon, all throughout the afternoon, we have oral presentations where students are presenting their work, uh, either reading papers or giving PowerPoint presentations. AIDS is a very big problem in Africa. So if a whole community or a whole village that have AIDS, or, if, or, or the head of the home have, have the virus, they have a lot of economic burden on, on the family. Cause Today's Bear Day, it's just kind of a day that Mercer has that we let faculty and students present their research to everybody. So it's a free for all, you can come out and see what's going on. Um, and it's a really good way for students to get involved with other research next year. Um, so I'm looking at some of the posters thinking, wow, that's really cool. Like, I'd really like to be interested in that. I, I'll talk to the professor, maybe, you know, and the professors see us interested and they pick us up for research, which is cool. Um, and it's not all science, it's um, they are doing some economics. I know there's some finance out there. They've done some Mercer on Mission um, presentations, so it's really cool. Um, it's a pretty big, diverse group. And then simultaneously, we have uh, an art show gallery opening. Uh, and then we also have the Engineering Expo, which the engineering students showcase some of their work in a variety of different forms also. We have about 20 podium presentation in the morning. Also, we have 49 poster presentation in the afternoon. About 80 students are participating for this event. And then finally, the, the entire unit itself is self-contained. Uh, you get a whole project and it allows you to build this particular one. But all the courts on here are proprietary. Okay. So here's the... Um, system running, that machine gun sound you hear is a pressure release valve opening and closing rapidly to maintain the constant pressure of 0.21 kPa. Right here we have a speed control knob so that our inhalation is controlled to provide us a proper flow rate, while like I said before, it moves out of max distance so that we can get back to starting point as quickly as possible. There are 150 students participating for the pressure uh, design competition in the afternoon. So it's a great opportunity for them to learn design processes. On your mark. Where's it start? It's set. Go. No. No. From their freshman year, they will experience from others' presentation. They learn what engineers do and what they are going to do in their junior and senior year. So that is great experience for them at the beginning of the year for their college.
education. Our project was to provide, was observe and provide observa um, observations and improvements um, in their process. So pretty much go to the facility in Jeffersonville, look at the um, process they have for e-commerce bulk, and to uh, provide um, improvements um, as, as we saw fit. Um, this curriculum in industrial engineering, um, uh, it, we studied from um, many of our professors and they pretty much showed us the different ways of uh, continuous improvement, um, lean, pretty much taking a system and trying to improve it by, by any means necessary. And it translated well into this project where we went to a facility, observed the process, made recommendations, tested it, and then found out that we did improve the process overall. And so me and my team, uh, we believe that our curriculum uh, equipped us very well for the um, project that we uh, in turn accepted. I'm, I'm back here representing Gulfstream at uh, Mercer's Expo. Um, we just, since we've helped sponsor the event, we wanted to have people here to actually see what Mercer's doing um, and just have involvement in it from the company. I think it's great that uh, graduates come out of here and I can, I can use them, I can, they can work in a team, they can communicate their ideas and, and that's what you really see coming out of Mercer.